Praise the Lord, oh my soul. This is a day as me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me hear you say. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. This is a day as me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord of my soul. This is the day He has made. Hallelujah! 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 Praise the Lord. And for me, I sing it with me to marry. Sunday in the month of April, our month of supernatural recovery. It's a joy for us all to be alive and to be counted among the living. What a glory that we need to give to God. Today, the 19th day of April 2020, once more, welcome to the Livingstone Online Celebration Service. And as it is our culture, we're starting with Thanksgiving. I'd like to take us to Luke chapter 17, verse 15 and 16. There were 10 lepers that were cleansed, but in verse 15 and 16, we see what we all ought to do. The Bible says in verse 15 of Luke 17, And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Are you going to turn back and glorify God today for keeping you from the beginning of this month up to the 19th of this month? Father, we thank you. We exalt your name. Thank you for our families. Thank you for Nigeria. 
Thank you for the nations of the earth. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our businesses. Thank you for your mercy over our lives. Thank you for those who have recovered. Thank you for those who will still recover. Thank you for the end of this pandemic. We give you glory. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, like I said, it's a month of supernatural recovery. And we have a covenant scripture that we're standing on. I want to read that scripture to us again in 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 19. That will be your testimony throughout this month. 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 19. And there was nothing lacking to them. Nothing will be lacking to you this month in the name of Jesus. Neither small nor great. Neither sons nor daughters. Neither spoil nor anything that they are taking to them. David recovered all. As David recovered all, you will recover all at the end of the month of April. You recover time, you recover business, you recover health and strength. This month will be your month of supernatural recovery in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Our uh, focus of today's service is faith weapons for recovery. Faith weapons for recovery. Every unusual testimony of recovery painted in scriptures is a product of faith. And at different times, people have to exhibit certain faith weapons to lay hold on their recovery. And in this first service, I'm going to be talking about faith weapons for recovery. In Ephesians 6.16, the Bible says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fairy darts of the wicked. Ephesians 6, 16. There is nothing you are facing that you cannot quench. The Bible says, when you take the shield of faith, the weapon of faith, you can quench every fairy dart. The fairy dart of sickness, the fairy dart of disease, the fairy dart of poverty, the fairy dart of sin, the fairy dart of wickedness. I therefore prophesy over to you listening to me today that through faith you will quench every fairy dart that is working against you in the name of Jesus Christ. And faith is that spiritual force that empowers us as believers to assess our recovery in Christ. And I know that you will assess your own recovery in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Which weapon are we looking at in this first service under the faith weapons for recovery? We're looking at the weapon of salvation. The weapon of salvation. Beyond our going to heaven as saints, salvation also counts on the earth. Our redemption through Jesus Christ is not just an escape route to heaven. It is gateway to supernatural recovery on earth. It is a weapon. When you become a child of God, there is more to life than going to heaven. The Bible teaches in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 9, But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. We are persuaded better. So there are things that accompany salvation. When you give your life to Christ, there are better things. So salvation is a gateway to better things. And part of that is supernatural recovery. Glory to God. Salvation empowers us to experience supernatural recovery. And I want to just give us one key. That we open our eyes and open our life to supernatural recovery in every area of our life. In Luke chapter 13 verse 16, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ made this statement. He said, Ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound these 18 years, be loosed from, the, from her bound on the Sabbath day? Ought not this daughter of Abraham? Jesus was stretching the fact that because that woman is a daughter of Abraham, she is not supposed to suffer for 18 years. So she is entitled to recovery because she is a daughter of Abraham. If you, as a child of God, don't know, you are a spiritual son, you are a spiritual daughter of Abraham. Because Abraham's covenant covers your well-being, covers your recovery, praise God. So in Luke chapter 13, 
Jesus pointed to the fact that everyone that identifies with Abraham is entitled to be loosed, to recover from whatever they are facing. How does that work for you? In Galatians, the Bible teaches us in chapter 3, Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, and if he be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed. So anyone that is born again through Christ is a seed of Abraham. And as that woman is loose from her infirmity, you are also entitled to experience recovery in every area of your life. If you are a child of Abraham, you are entitled to supernatural recovery through salvation. Glory to God. And there are seven things that you can recover from by virtue of that scripture in Galatians 3.29. I'll read it again. If you be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and are heirs according to the promise. That means if you have given your life to Christ, you have access to every promise God gave to Abraham. Access to Abrahamic covenant. You have access to recovery, supernatural recovery. Glory to God. The number one thing you are entitled to recover from through salvation in Christ is recovery from causes. Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made the cause for us, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Once you give your life to Christ, you are entitled to recover from causes. No matter the cause running your family, the cause of stagnation, the cause of sickness, the, the cause of delay in marriage, the cause of delay in having children, by virtue of Galatians 3.13, 13 and 14, you are declared free today in the name of Jesus. You are going to recover the time you have lost. As a matter of fact, those of you believing God for the fruit of the womb, you are taken in today in the name of Jesus. There is going to be supernatural recovery for you because the number one thing you are recovered from when you give your life to Christ is you are recovered from the cause of the law. So recovery number one, you are recovered from every cause. Number two, you, you, you have recovery from sickness and diseases mentioned among the things you are able to recover from under abraham as a child of god is recovery from sickness and diseases in deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 59 to 61 three items were mentioned sickness of long continuance two every sickness and disease that has no name three sicknesses that are called termina determine 28 59 to 61, if your name comes under all those sicknesses, you are redeemed from them by being born again. You are recovering from them. That's number two. Number three, recovery from financial setbacks. Determine 28, verse 38 and 39. Everyone that accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord as ever have the power to recover from financial setbacks. Every financial setback you have had today marks the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, recovery from family crisis. Determine 28 verse 41 and verse 28. You will enjoy your children. Your children will enjoy you. You will not die before your time in the name of Jesus. Number five, recovery from barrenness. Everyone that has witnessed delay in having children, the term in 28 verse 18 says it's a cost to have that kind of delay. And when you have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, Galatians 3, 13 and 14 demands that you be free from that barrenness. And you are free today in the name of Jesus. Number five, recovery from marital delay. The term in 28 verse 13, you will not betroth somebody and somebody has married the person. It's a cost. And Christ has redeemed you from the cost of the law. So every marital disappointment, every marital delay, every marital frustration ends today in the name of Jesus. And lastly, recovery from a life of struggles and frustration. If you have been facing frustrations, if you have been facing struggles, the term in 28 verse 33, verse 37, verse 43 tells us that there are people, they will carry in, they will sow in much and bring in little. They will put more effort, but they won't get anything out of it. If you have given your life to Christ, salvation offers you recovery from frustration, recovery from, from struggles. And I pray that as you have followed me today, all those struggles will come to an end in the name of Jesus. But what is salvation? Salvation is making Jesus the Lord of your life. It's a weapon. It's a faith weapon. 
When you give your life to Christ, you have access to what Christ has to offer through redemption. And one of it is recovery. So I want to first pray with you. If you are here listening to me right now and you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life, what a privilege for you to say today, in the name of Jesus, I come to you, Father. I ask that you forgive me of my sins. I acknowledge that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary for my sins and rose on the third day for my justification. And you said in your word, if I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ as my Lord, I will be saved. If you make that prayer your prayer, you become saved right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And maybe you are a child of God. You've not been living your life where you've been doing all kinds of things that are contrary to his plan. You can rededicate your life. You can come back to Jesus now. These are not the days in which you live your life outside of the plan of God. You can tell him, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to live for you now. And he will receive you. He will not wise cast you out. Lastly, I want to pray a prayer of recovery for everybody listening to me worldwide. The world is going through a very difficult time. And what we need now is the power of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God. I therefore pray for you wherever you are. In every area you are needing recovery. The recovery of God comes to your household in the name of Jesus. It comes to your family in the name of Jesus. We pray for all the frontline staff, the health workers. We pray that God in his infinite mercy will protect and preserve them. We uphold them and sustain them in the name of Jesus. God will bring supernatural provision to you this week in the name of Jesus. So do you remember you and do you good this week in the name of Jesus. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus, the the wicked will not know your dwelling in the name of Jesus until we meet again. The Lord keep you. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord cause his face to shine over you. Don't forget, it's our year of far above. You'll be far above sickness. You'll be far above diseases. You'll be far above principalities. You'll be far above power, powers in the name of Jesus. God bless you and keep running in the faith. Oh, my God.